Hello, Julie here, and thank you for joining me here today. If you're new to my channel, thank you for coming along. And if you have been following me for a while, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. So I've got a collection of papers here, and I'm going to use my deckle edge ruler here to tear them down to size. Now, I want to have about four, in four and a half inches wide. So this one's pretty close to that, so I'm going to use that as my guide. And um, I'm going to tear that off. Now, the, um, the lengths of the paper, I'm not too fussed. They don't have to all be the same length. They'll be whatever length is available. But they won't, of course, be any longer than um, my journal. Now, how long is that? Well, it's going in this journal here, and so I probably don't want it any longer than maybe, let's say, six inches. So six inches is the max that I want my papers to be. So let's tear a piece off of here to get this um, started. I don't think this um, I don't think this mat is actually big enough. I probably should get my bigger one out. So how long is that? Okay. So let's say we're gonna make this about four inches, so about here. Actually I'm gonna change my mat. Okay, so I'm back with a better mat now. So I can use this to mark my four inches. One, two, three, four. So about here. Line my ruler up there so I know that it's pretty straight. And I said, let's have a look, is that about the same? Near enough. And I wanted it about six inches long. So let's get six inches. Well, no longer than six inches. So that so that's two I've got two pieces and um, I'll do one of each piece to start with and uh, then we'll see how many we've got and if we want to double up on any because so I've got no maybe four or five different ones there oh, it didn't work so well did it Try again. Better. So about four inches. One, two, three, four, about there. And about six inches that way. I don't know how this is going to tear, so there might be a bit of trial and error here because these leaves in this handmade paper don't like to tear very well from memory. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to have to. Can I hand tear it? Probably not. Okay, well this one might just have to be cut with my trimmer. Now here's another handmade paper. don't know how this is going to tear either. Let's try it. Okay, that tears alright. Okay, so that doesn't look that straight, does it? That's not too bad. So... Let's tear that reasonably straight. I don't know why I insist on doing it that way. I do do it this way. There we go. Now, about four inches. One, two, three, four, about here. One, two, 
three, four, five, six. Okay, a little bit shorter won't hurt. Um, I've got some cream coloured. This is just uh, some A4 good quality paper, printing paper that uh, I have. About that because that will probably be below the six inch line, so about four. And six. Doesn't look that straight, does it? Two, four, five, six, about there. Okay, and I've got another piece of the um, avocado dyed paper. So, just there like this. So this is just normal uh, copy of paper that I have. That's a nice jagged line, isn't it? So now we'll move to four. That in place firmly. Tear a little bit off the oh, it can can be straight. And about six. Okay, so what have we got there? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and this one's seven. Well, why don't I put, if I put another one each of these in, that would be enough I reckon, and I won't put that handmade paper one in, because it won't be torn like the others. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That will do. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is sort of sort them out into how I want them colour wise. I might have one of those in there. that one on the front I'll get a double layer and if I put um, this one maybe in there get a bit of colour break up okay so that's how I'm going to have my papers like so now um, I need to make a, a cover for it so do that I'm going to get some cardstock okay so I've got this piece of cardstock I don't know what brand or anything like that it is but I'm going to cut that down so it's four inches wide one two three four so here 
and I'm going to use my craft knife to do that. So I've got a little offer knife. Run that along the smooth edge of my rule. So there we go. Now, if I use the top end and I fold that over, it's going to be upside down. So I'm going to use this end. Now I want um, this to come in there and then I want this to fold over. So I want to fold that over about an inch. Sorry. Sorry about that noise, I'm just getting my scoreboard out. So I'm going to score that at one inch. Do I want it one inch? No, probably not. It's only four inches long, or six inches long. Uh, I'm going to go three quarters of an inch. going to go in there like that. Okay, so now I need to make a little mark for where I want to trim that off. So I don't want to be able to actually see that cardstock behind it, so I'm going to cut it just a little fraction short. So I'm going to cut it there. So if I line that up and Use my blade once again. Oops, it's not very good. Okay, so now I'm going to ink around the edges of that. Actually, I might try a corner around it. Let's have a look. No, I don't think so. Okay, so just ink around the edge of this. I'm using Vintage Photo for my inking. You're not going to see this back part anyway. So I don't really need to ink that. I do want to ink that crease though. And I will ink around the inside back. Now, even though this is the backing, because it's plain like this, this can still be used to write on. So. Okay, now I could ink around each one of these papers but I'm not going to and the fact that that's a little bit wider than the others is annoying me so I'm going to trim that down a bit. I know it shouldn't. The idea of a junk journal is that it's all wobbly and out of out of uh, control, but oh, it must be OCD or something. Because that, that's a lot better as far as I'm concerned. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch across this to hold these papers in place. But I'm only going to stitch. Oops, I'm going to stitch it like that so that this piece is not attached with the stitching. So I'll go and do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've stitched that in now. Just trim these tails off. So you can see I've left that back section loose so that is not actually attached to that. Okay, so now what I need to do is find in my journal where I want to add this. So oh, let's find a spot about here. Right, I think I would want it on this side page. Okay, so now I'm going to attach this using this so luckily I've got this little bit of an off cut left so I'm just going to cut that to make sure that that's wide enough for that to fit through so about there 
like that with my pencil. Line that up on there and cut it. the edge of that right now I want to have some decorative brads on that got some brads here, let's have a look. Um, so maybe these bronzy coloured ones, got two the same there, will you? These have got different, um, different like, heads on them, so I'm trying to make sure I've got the same heads there, which I have now. And I'm going to now I'm going to put these in now before I attach it to the book because I don't want the backs of those poking through. So I'm going to use my pokey tool, whatever that may be. Just poke a hole about there. And about there, so hopefully they're somewhat lined up, not necessarily so, put that in, put that one in, they're not lined up but that doesn't really matter, and then turn them around and open them up like so. down on that and make sure it's nice and flat. Okay, so where did we decide to go with this? I've forgotten about there maybe. So that's going to go on there and then this is going to slip through that. So I'm going to mount that about let's actually put that over that. And then we can work out where we want to place it. Something's crooked. Something is crooked. Why is that? Just go to my trimmer and trim that up. Okay, so I've trimmed that up so it's straight and I've re-inked the edges. Now let's see how we go. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to attach that now about there. So if I put a little mark at the bottom of that, is that about straight? about there. I can take that off, add my glue, I'm using liquid glue for this, art glitter glue, and I'm going to apply plenty of glue over that. Grad. I want that to stick down. And that one. And I wanted it about there, so like so. so. I'm just going to hold that for a second while that takes, because those brads are there and causing a little bit of texture or dimension. I want to make sure that it grabs properly.
Okay. And now, let's see how this fits. Hopefully our glue hasn't spread out too far. Nope. So that fits in there like that. So here we've got a little pad attached to the page but is removable. So once you fill this pad up, you can remove it and um, replace it with another one. Now with the off cuts, I've, got, I've trimmed those down as well. I thought I might as well use them and I'm going to uh, create a little bit different but the same sort of idea. I'm just going to put a tab on this and stitch across it. I'll do that and then I'll come back and show you uh, how it looks. Okay, so there we have the little um, pad. You can see I've rounded the corners on this one just so you could see how that would look. And this um, can just go in a pocket or something. You know, we could just uh, probably maybe in something like that. You know, just as a bonus. Or we could take that out of there, pop that up there, and put that in there. So, yeah. So just something to add in somewhere, actually. It's too tall for that. Okay. So, that's my video for today. Now, where's my page gone? There we go. I'm pretty sure that's pretty dry by now. So now we could um, we could embellish this page a bit more if we wanted to, but um, at this point in time, I'm happy with how it is. I probably will come back and put something here because uh, when we take that pad away, that's a pretty plain page. So I might do something like that in the finishing off video when I go through and embellish everything that's in here. So yeah, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. And I hope you can join me when I post my next video. Okay, bye.